And I'm going to give you that analogy in a minute. If you're playing a front guy on your five-man or seven-man team, all right, and you're going to get up close and uptight, and you want a small barrel, but you still want short-range accuracy, sure, you can go with the smaller control back or a smaller tip if they have it. Right. Okay? If you're playing in the woods and you need that long shot, I would rather have a longer control bore. It gives you more output. You get more force behind the ball. It'll give you a better run through the barrel, down through the porting. And essentially, um, the next question would be boring. I mean, overbore, underbore, which is right. I mean, again, people are calling this a myth. Is it a myth? No, it's not. Overbore and actually will help you get a little bit better performance out of, let's say you've got oblong paint or it doesn't look right or it's a little oily out of the bag. You'd rather overbore than underbore. For the new player, what is overboring? Overboring means that I have a 6, 8, 9 barrel in my hand. But let's say I go and bore test my paint, and my paint is telling me that it's a 684. But it's a little football that's not really good, it's not perfectly round. Instead of going with the 68 bore and breaking paint, I'm gonna go with the next size up, let's say the 689, and I'm gonna use a little more air, but I'm gonna make sure my paint gets down the barrel and gives me a little bit better performance. You have to kind of tune for the paint. So essentially, a nice tight fit in there is not necessary? A nice tight fit is necessary if you have good paint. Okay. All right. If you don't have good paint or it's a little oily or you're getting really wild, inconsistent shots, mm -hmm. uh, a good tight fit means less air travels around the ball. The more air that's behind the ball, that's, that's going to generate the energy to get it down the barrel. Okay. All right. So, uh, so the closer the ball fits the barrel in terms of boring, that's going to put more air behind the ball. Absolutely. However, you're saying overboring is potentially better for most players at this point because of what reason again? If you have a not so great paint. Okay, there we go. Uh, and we always have great paint. We always have great paint. I, 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 I've shot what? walking for years. And, well, i got to tell you, I, I, I have shot different paint, and there's no doubt about it. What I've been shooting with Vulcan has been performing at an excellent level in the past six, eight months. I can get behind that, not because I'm involved with them, but simply because I've shot it. So I, I agree as well. Uh, I think we've covered just about all the subjects. Did we miss anything in, in terms of bores and barrels and fits? And I don't think so, but if you can find it, and I know it's out there somewhere, really, if you're really interested in the whole physics behind it, see if you can find Tom K's research on the barrels. It's really interesting if you're a techie like me, man danger man I mean go out check it out see what you could you know find out about it it's really really neat if you're a physics major this will be right up your alley because it has the energy quotient with the mass with the friction everything is in there and if you see Tom K ask him about it he'll gladly talk to you about it the man's very very intelligent well there you go this is uh, this is winner you now know why he is a rock star in this particular field it's about time <laughs> And I can tell you right now, for all you guys trolling and want to discuss this thing, I'll be glad to get down and dirty with you on the matter. But if you're going to put up an argument, bring me something behind it. Don't just make a comment and leave it out there. You've got to back up what you say. So thanks for being part of the experience, folks. What's Danger Man say? I don't know. <laughs> it's too much for any man.